All right, hi again, everybody. I'm Terry Vanderbeck with Sanford Sports. Welcome to the Sanford Pentagon. It is March Madness, and we're only in February, That's and right. I can't say March Madness, right? Probably not. Some royalties. Perfect. Uh, here, my, my uh, much better dressed guest today is Mr. David Brown of Minko Sports Network. David, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm excited. It's tournament time. What it is say? tournament time. Uh, you guys are going to be living out here with us for the best <laughs> part of the next couple weeks. Uh, things get kicked off today at 10 a.m. with the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference Men's and Women's Basketball Tournament, one of our favorite events every year. Uh, nobody covers uh, the league better than David and the, the folks at Midco. Let's get that out of the way right away. New this year, the broadcast not limited by linear television. No. Tell us quickly about the streaming opportunities that people have to watch if they're outside the, the Midco footprint. Hey, we're in the future, aren't we? Streaming, a brand new technology. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we finally have a streaming app. It's Midco Sports Plus. You can sign up midcosn.com slash streaming, $5.99 a month, but you get everything. You get all our original programming, you get all of our live games, and come tournament time, these yep. next two weeks, you will get every MSIC tournament game, every Summit League tournament game up until the championship. So yes, Midco Sports Plus, check it out. You don't have to be a Midco subscriber to get it. You can sign up anyone, anywhere, anytime. Yeah, great new service, especially for the kids in this league that maybe get our from a little ways away. Sure. Mom and dad, now they can watch. So congrats to you guys on that. Um, real quick, the obvious question of the day, you, you are known for wearing a different <laughs> pair of, uh, of Jordans for every game. Um, show us real quickly, if you oh, can, geez. what you're rocking today and why. Well, let's see. I don't know if we can get down here. I'm, I'm an 11 span, so we have... I, I try my best. My, my wife is okay with my shoe having, by the way. Just okay, good, good. That's important. Uh, but yes, uh, 11s, those are the uh, 25th anniversary 11s. Figure today's February 25th. Why not wear the 25th oh, anniversary? There's always there's a reason. Always a reason. I, yeah, yep, yep. It's not but, random. But, okay. it's, but it's just fun. And sure. I, you know, I'm, I'm of the opinion that MJ's the go. I know a lot of kids think LeBron's the go, but right. that's what I put on my shoes. Well, listen. <laughs> not, not to lie, tell <laughs> Exactly. Uh, and MJ's the shoe goat, no question. With all yes. due respect, LeBron's a little heavy and a little clunky. So we'll just, that's another another topic for another day. Let's talk real quickly about the tournament. Uh, obvious uh, item number one, uh, not really any fans in the building. My personal opinion is that that's going to lend itself not only this event, but to other events that are often heavily persuaded um, in terms of home, uh, uh, home biases, fans, noise. With that out of the picture, do we get maybe some different results this year? Maybe more, more uh, upsets and, and things that um, uh, you know, don't normally happen. Yeah, I mean, people think that because we're in Sioux Falls, you know, Sioux Falls teams usually have an advantage, but if you're a team from Minnesota or from Nebraska or stuff like that, definitely, you can create your own energy. The benches are going to be deep in this one. All season long, the benches have kind of had to create their own energy. They do it anyway, but it's kind of been ratcheted up a yeah. lot, knowing that we can hear the benches fully right now. You've got to be able to be screaming and shouting and encouraging your team. And sure. honestly, sometimes if I come down to who has the best bench, you can get that momentum going. Sure. Um, the other thing is there's no sort of uh, first round game. Yep. We're going straight to the 18 format. Typically there's a, a campus round. That's not happening this year. Does that matter at all? Does that factor, uh, you know, underdogs or, or favorites? Uh, it, it might. Obviously, when you have first round games at home schools, it tends to lend itself to the home school winning. In fact, last year, we only had one upset in the first round. But now this year, the cup of field that happened went straight from the regular season here to the Pentagon. So you do, in theory, have the eight best teams on the men's side and the women's side. But that also means that the margin for error is so thin. So that right or prides itself, rather, or upset potential. Sure. And, and obviously, the, you always start with the number one seeds or defending champions in a tournament like this. But beyond that list of teams. Any people, uh, uh, any sleeper teams that, that people should keep an eye on, either the men's or the women's side? On the men's side, I think Upper Iowa has a chance to be a single. They lead the league in scoring. They're technically the two seed in the South Division, but they're a high tempo, high pace team. They shoot a ton of threes and they don't turn the ball over. They're top 10 in the country in the English turnover in the game. So when you can play fast and play under control, that lends itself to Upper Iowa possibly being a sleeper because Northern States would probably be considered the favorite on the men's side. On the women's side, Tough to say, St. Cloud State, even though they're the defending champion, they could be an underdog as well. They're technically the two seed in the North Division this season. They have the best defense. They only shoot 55 points per game. Struggled a little bit with inconsistency, but I think that they have the defense to shut South down to these high-powered women's offenses. Perfect. David Brown, Minko has said, we're going to be here daily, kind of previewing the day like this. Appreciate David and others uh, taking time to help us tee things up. Again, 10 a.m. tip-off. We go 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m. the next three days. Like three days. Tons yeah. of hoops. 
Thank you guys for watching and uh, enjoy the game.